Well, here we are at Nissan, and here's where my sad story began. I bought three brand new Nissans from this dealership in the last 10 years. Most recently, a 2007 Nissan Titan. Now I'm about to tell you what happened to my Nissan Titan, and you can decide whether you ever want to buy a Nissan ever again. So what I'm about to show you is where the Nissan Titan has a factory defect and a flaw. Uh, that causes a lot of problems and this happened to me one day while I was just driving down the highway with my family on the way to a camping trip so right away I'll show you what to watch for on the Nissan Titan so this is being shot from the passenger side underneath where your muffler your exhaust and your tailpipe all connect a lot of cars have a one-piece unit coming up off of this piece right here but Nissan has this extra piece where this two bolt flange has to connect and I found several instances online where what happens is the weld breaks off either on this side or this side at this flange it breaks off and then hot exhaust fumes shoot up into this wheel well and up in this wheel well is a bunch of uh, kind of important ABS wires uh, melts a bunch of wires and next thing you know you broke down on the side of the road. So here's the thing. This happened to me 63 days ago and I still don't have my Nissan Titan back. The repair bill at this point is at $7,500, give or take. There's been three different part orders along the way. The first time they had to order an ABS wire, it took three weeks to come out of the United States up to Canada. And when they got that installed, they called me up and said, oh man, now that we got this installed, we realize like there's this other part that we need to order. So they ordered the part again, apparently from the same factory in the States uh, where they put it on the back of a pack donkey and walk it up to Canada because you know what? I order parts out of the States all the time and it's called UPS, it's called Pure Later. You can get things here within two or three days, at worst case scenario. So the second part comes up and now at this point it's 30, 40 days into the repair. I can't, I don't know, I've lost track. They get that thing hooked up. The guy calls me up and he says, oh man, you're not going to believe this. I go, whoa, 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 let me guess. Um, you just got that part installed and now you realize there's some other part you need to order. And again, it's gotta come from this mystery factory out of the States and it's gonna take three weeks to get up here because apparently they're using the Pony Express. He goes, yeah, man, that's what's happening. I'm like, oh my God. So today, like I say, is like day 63, repair bill $7,500. I've owned three brand new Nissans in my life. I've spent over $100,000 in Nissan in the last 10 years. I've been in contact with Nissan Canada. I've asked them to try and help me out with a repair. Uh, they, they basically just keep telling me that it's under review. I've been, it's been under review for 60 some days. I'm stressed out about it. I'm like, I'm sick of waiting for an answer. So I told them that I was gonna make this video. And now here it is. So. You decide if you still want to buy a Nissan after watching this, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the progress of my story. Thanks.